The creepy and the kooky, they've had four movies, you've only heard of three, The Addams Family. Hey everyone, my name's Jim and you've landed on Planet Rewind, and believe it or not, there are four Addams Family movies. So let's rank them, let's rank this franchise, basically, but not many people really know that there are four of these films. So here we go, let's rank the Addams Family movies from worst to best. Finally on the list is Addams Family Reunion. What, you ask? What the bloody hell is Adam's Family Reunion? Yes, it is the third Adam's Family movie, released in 1998, which is a sequel to Adam's Family Values, with none of the original cast except for Lurch. The actor Carol Struken comes back as Lurch, but other than that, it's a blank slate, and you've got Tim Curry turning up as Gomez Adams. You heard me right. Adam's Family Reunion, not many people have heard of it, but it's bloody out there. No, the Adam's Family Reunion, it's really offended a lot of fans. It's got terrible reviews because obviously those first two Adam's Family movies are so ingrained in people's minds growing up. They're so nostalgic. They're so funny. They're so smart. So to try and do a sequel to it with none of the original actors who have made such a mark on the characters and just go, here you go. Here's a more kid focused. Here's a more dopey Adam's Family. I can see why it rubbed people the wrong way. I gotta say, I don't hate this movie. I really don't. I have some innocent, charming fun with the movie. It is dopey, it is stupid, it's lost a lot of the smartness. But it's very much, in a way, it's just the Addams Family doing things on screen. Just the Addams Family doing things. And I'll be honest, I like to watch the Addams Family do things. There's some interesting, fun set pieces, I guess. Like when Tim Curry as Gomez plays table tennis, and he's an absolute uh, expert at it, and that's hilarious. Or when Wednesday uh, plays bowls or plays croquet with a bomb, that's quite funny. I also think Nicole Figura, who plays uh, Wednesday, did well at channeling Christina Ritchie's vibe as Wednesday from the original two films. I think she got her speech patterns well. So she done well. And Gomez, you know, Tim Curry was born to play, you know, if, if Raul Julia hadn't played Gomez in those first two, Tim Curry would be the ideal choice. So you immediately like Tim Curry as Gomez. Daryl Hannah as Morticia is channeling Angela Houston. She does decently well. Uncle Fester is god-awful, played by Patrick Thomas. Christopher Lloyd as Uncle Fester made such a mark in those first two movies. You know, he was so quirky, so awkward, so bizarre, so funny. This was an attempt to go back to the original Fester of just a blithering bloody idiot, which is what he is in the 60s show. But it just comes across really annoying because you really remember Christopher Lloyd and you're just like, now you're just watching Uncle Fester run around chasing his dog. It's really like, he's got nothing to him in this. He's completely played for comedic relief. Whereas in the first two, he was one of the most interesting and fun and great to watch elements. This movie is basically Screwball Adam's Family, you know, it's less smart, it's less, there's less impact made on you, it feels cheap, it looks cheap, it's very much got that daytime TV vibe, but I feel like with what they had to work with, which is, it's going to be a TV movie, and you're not going to have the budget, I think they done decently well in trying to capture the essence of the Adam's Family, particularly with Wednesday, particularly with Gomez. Some fun little moments here and there, the movie kept me entertained, so I didn't mind Adam's Family Reunion, I wasn't that offended. Because if I look at it, it's just a standalone Adam's Family movie, just a fun, kind of zany, madcap Adam's Family movie with a different cast. If I take the old cast out of my mind, it's mildly entertaining. Next is the 2019 Adam's Family animated film, which I only recently watched. I just, it kind of just went under my radar when it came out. This one I quite like too. So directed by Conrad Vernon, I, I really did like the animation in this. I think it's very striking, very imaginative, very um, dark in places, very cartoony. It really did conjure up a mood and vibe, and it kind of walked the line of being dark and appropriate for children. You know, one of my main worries going into this was that it would be focused primarily at children, and it's it respects enough of the Adams Family edginess, that dark and edgy tone that we know from The Addams Family, but it's a children's movie too. The movie's very much a story about accepting people, you know. This does what none of the other Addams Family movies have done, you know. In this film, Wednesday, voiced by Chloe Grace Moretz, and I actually think she did well, she, again, she channeled a lot of Christina Ritchie. 
in her speeches and you know the way she spoke and the way she the vibe basically but Wednesday longs for something other than the Adams Family which is very different to how she is in the first two Adams Family films and Adams Family Reunion she's very reluctant and judgmental of, of the normal world in this she wants to experience a normal world but she stays an Adams she stays that cynical grumpy Wednesday but she embraces friends at school she goes out into the real world and it's about how different societies different communities can meet and accept that they're different but still respect each other and that's not a message that is pushed in any of the Adams Family movies other than this one so I respect that Morticia fears that she's losing Wednesday and Morticia has to learn to be more accepting that Wednesday has friends who are normal and Gomez has to learn that Pugsley isn't going to exactly follow in his footsteps. He's training Pugsley in the film to basically do a version of the Mamushka, the dance from the Adams Family original movie. He's basically training him to do that, but Pugsley just can't get it. And Gomez has to accept that the Adams Family dynasty doesn't have to be thrust onto Pugsley. I think the problem with this film is it's not that funny. I think it's decently written with decent messages, but it's not that funny. I never really laughed. And again, Uncle Fester is played for complete laughs and he's a complete goon. And again, you've seen Christopher Lloyd in those original films and you've loved Christopher Lloyd. You know, anything compared to that, I'm probably being harsh, but he's just not funny. He's a blithering idiot and it's got some decent lines, but it's just not very funny. I actually invested more into it as an emotional story, but it's still better than Anna's Reunion because it's better written. Number two on the list it is a toss up, isn't it? Because it's a real, like what is better between Anna's Family and Anna's Family Values. For me, number two is Anna's Family Values. You know, lots of people will call this number one. I've heard this being heralded very much over the years as better than the original. I think it's really, really good. It's a fantastic movie. Um, but it's, it's still number two for me, but it's really great. Basically, Uncle Fester marries a crazy axe murdering psychopath played by Joan Cusack, who is a complete bitch queen from hell. That's the plot. Just such a genius idea in this film of Uncle Fester getting married to an axe wielding maniac, and Fester doesn't see it. At any time, he just gets bewitched by Joan Cusack's character of Debbie, and she just keeps trying to kill him time and bloody time. He just doesn't doesn't notice at all because he's so he just wants to be in love. But this movie definitely changes tone a bit from the first Adams Family and becomes more the humor's more macabre and bloodthirsty and even darker than the first movie if that's possible oh wednesday's at that very special age when a girl has only one thing on her mind boys homicide i love how brave and ambitious this Alan's family values was because obviously wednesday played by christina ritchie and pugsley go to summer camp what a genius idea to put the two Alan's family kids in summer camp and it exposes the cynical nature of, of summer camp, the cynical nature of forcing yourself to be happy at all times, the cynical idea of collectivism. There's lots going on in this. It's great to see Wednesday and Pugsley throw a spanner in the works because individualism is very important and they're not accepted for their individualism. And that's kind of what their whole journey at that summer camp is about, you know, they, they are individuals and it's not looked at as, you know, this kind of false um, moral high ground that the um, camp counsellors take and the other children take. And, you know, eventually it doesn't end well for them because Wednesday and Pugsley run amok at this summer camp. There's just so much in this film that's hilarious, you know, just Debbie's outbursts and when she has the Adams family captured at the end, her relaying her life that the reason she ended up this way is she never got brought the right Barbie when she was a kid. Genius. I was 10. And you know what they got me? Malibu Barbie. Malibu Barbie. The nightmare. The nerve. That's not what I wanted. That's not who I was. I was a ballerina. Graceful. Delicate. They had to go. 
and Wednesday's just sadistic measures to torture everyone at camp and that moment where she uh, pretends that she's gonna be a nice kid. Oh, darling, do you really mean it? She turns back into the Wednesday and lights a match and just burns the place to the ground. It's just absolutely bonkers. Like, what the hell happened? What about when the police turned up? Takes what Adam's family one did and just develops on it in a gigantic way, in a really creative way. And it's a fantastic sequel. It does what sequels should do and develops on the original. But number one for me is Adam's family from 1991. It has such a special place in my heart. I watched this one most growing up. I had the VHS of both of them, but I watched this one most. And I just feel like, for me, this movie, it's a crystallization of what I think of when I think of the Adams Family. When I think of the Adams Family, I think of this movie. For me, I just, it's the Adams Family in their element. Every character in this is really given ample time. Roll Julia as Gomez is just fantastic, electric performance. Incredible charisma whenever he's on screen as Gomez, so much fun. Like the first time you see him when his lawyer comes in the house, he's already sword fighting him, trying to kill him. You know, and you know, Morticia and Gomez, their little back and forths of their relationship. That messed up, morbid, but just so much love between them. It's fascinating to watch. Growing up, I it was probably some of the best performances I'd ever seen at, at taking characters that existed and making them pop culture, making them so memorable, just making them ingrained in your mind. And to this day, you can't really think of anyone other than these actors as the Addams Family. Obviously in this film, it's about the return of Uncle Fester to the Addams Family, played by Christopher Lloyd. And the whole idea that he starts off as someone pretending to be Fester, and I won't spoil it if you haven't seen the film, and he comes back and he slowly gets bewitched under the spell of the Addams Family and he falls in love with the Adams family. And Christopher Lloyd's performance as Fester is iconic, I think. You know, people like to talk about Doc Brown. I think this might be Christopher Lloyd's best performance. I think it might. He looks like the Fester of old, but with this added edge, and everything in this film has this added edge, added gothic tone. But he's so sweet and endearing too. You just completely fall in love with Fester, even though he starts out as trying to fool them. But you see that friendship develop with the family, that relationship develop again, and it's wonderful. And you get swept up in the Adams family, their genuinity, you know, even though they're these messed up, morbid freaks, they're so genuine and charming and earnest with it, and they love each other dearly, you just get swept up. And I feel like the actors just, just do so well in that respect. Look at her. I would die for her. I would kill for her. Either way, what bliss? And this movie just has some of the greatest individual lines in Anna's family history. They're just, to this day, I die laughing. I think they're so smartly written. Perhaps it's in here. I don't think so. Uncle Knickknack's winter wardrobe. Uncle Knickknack's summer wardrobe. Uncle Knickknack. Is this made from real lemons? Yes. I only like all natural foods and beverages, organically grown with no preservatives. I'll buy a cup if you buy a box of my delicious Girl Scout cookies. Are they made from real Girl Scouts? Directed by Barry Sonnenfeld, who also done Men in Black. And for a first movie, which is what this is, <laughs> for a first movie, mate, I mean, the vibe he created, they wanted Tim Burton for this. And Tim Burton was obviously the obvious choice, but I think that Barry Sonnefeld walked that line of fun, and it had that chirpy energy of the Adams Family. It's such a hard line to walk. But this movie didn't get rid of the fun of the Adams Family, it just, it made it like a sinister sense of fun, and such a cynical look at the world, but also a 
a fun look at the world. You know, it's not a it's a cynical movie in some respects, but it's a fun movie in some respects. It's a movie that believes in humanity in some respects and individualism and getting on with each other and family. You know, it's there's a lot going on in these Anastani movies, and I think Anastani the first one. You know, I will never forget those images. What is your favourite Adam's Family movie? Have you seen Adam's Family Reunion? Have you seen the 2019 Adam's Family? What's your ranking of the series? Let me know. Let me know your thoughts. What's the funniest Adam's Family line? All that good stuff. Let's discuss it in the comments below. Thanks for watching, everyone. If you enjoyed my rankings, check out the other rankings on the screen now. And I'll see you guys in the next video.